Yo guys, welcome back to another Asphalt 8 video and today I will be showing you guys cars that you should never ever go for cars so bad that you should never spend your resources in so which are these cars and which are the reason they are so bad and the reason of why no one should ever go for them well, let's find out <laughs> So, the first car in our list is no more and no less than the HTT Plethor. And this car is really, really bad, I have to say. The acceleration is almost non-existent. It took like 5 seconds to reach up top speed, which is uh, a lot for the rank where this car is at, uh, which is uh, 1839, uh, I think. I mean, even the Apollo Intense Motion right now is better than this car because, well, at least the, the Apollo has a bit better acceleration. Uh, despite I think that the Apollo should be improved in the future, but anyway, that, that's not the point right now. This car, uh, Nitro Duration, is really, really bad, as you can appreciate right now. Uh, also, the drift radius is not bad, but still I feel could be a way better. Well, uh, the wall performance of this car could be a way better overall. But anyway, also the top speed is a no to compete uh, more or less des decently if you don't get knocked down at the beginning of each race. But well, I think it's pointless mm, the, the top speed stat because at the end, uh, well, you need to accelerate up to that top speed. And this car totally lacks of acceleration. So that's the, the main problem of this car. The codes the cost are around the same as... Uh, Upgrading a Lamborghini Centenario, which is a lot for uh, this trash performance. I really hope this car gets improved in the future along with the Apollo Intensity Emulsion. But as for now, this car is totally worthless and I do not recommend going for it at all. Well, at the second position we have the Infinity Vision GT, which is a car not a lot of people know nowadays, but it's normal because this car performance is really, really bad. Its acceleration, as you just realized, is not the best, can be easily knocked down by four GTEs, Ferrari, super fast, and well, of course, Terzo Millennials, which are the best cars at this rank. Of course, this car, a uh, Nitro Duration, is not uh, really bad, it's uh, way better than the HTT Plethor, the car I just checked checked before this car but uh, well the drift radius could be a way better the acceleration is its main weakness which is really really bad i have to say and well overall the top speed is fairly good can be competitive at this rank but the acceleration basically kills this car also uh, well i don't know if it's on sale right now but well i have to say that this car also should be changed in order to be uh, more useful because uh, I really like its design, it's not an ugly car, I have to say. But well, I, I would like to, to know your thoughts about this car on the comments, aside of the totally uh, bad performance this car has right now. Well, uh, also, of course, I have to say that uh, this car has a rank of 1801, which is around the same as the 4GT, but of course, is not as good as the 4GT as you just saw on this race. Well, so it's time to jump to the next car. The third spot on this list is occupied by the Aston Martin DB9, which has a rank of 1361, uh, close to the uh, Ariel Atom or Donkey Board A GTO, which are a way better cars like <laughs> than this one. But anyway, this car drift radius is clearly wide, as you are about to see. Look at that, it's really, really wide. Also, this car, another a weakness this car has is the nitro duration this car basically drinks nitro i mean look at the nitro bar uh, right there it's insane how bad this car nitro duration is the top speed is uh, i have to say it's good it's better than the aerial atom which if this car had a better nitro duration well m could be a, a bit better i have to say but right now is <laughs> really really bad the acceleration is not the worst I mean, I have seen a way worse accelerations at these ranks, but it still is fairly, fairly poor, I have to say. Also, uh, well, the handling doesn't feel really, really bad. Feels, well, decent on the average, but as I said, the drift radius is so bad. The nitro duration is totally uh, a pain. It's basically a pain to drive. So, yes, it's bad, but, well, uh, it's not a not the worst investment you can make on this of this list 
So, well, it's time to check the fourth car. <laughs> okay, the following car is a classic among the bad cars of Asphalt 8 and is the uh, Ferrari Scaglietti. This car has poor acceleration. <laughs> well, the nitro duration is actually fairly decent for its run, which is 1434, but this car is a total pain regarding its handling. This car feels so heavy, so uncontrollable. The drift radius, as you can see, is almost non-existent. This car uh, drift radius is, is extremely wide. I mean, it's really hard to, to control, mostly because of its trash handling, which is really, really bad. The acceleration, as I say, is poor. I mean, of course, it's not the worst, but it's fair away from being the best. The nitro duration, well, it's a bit uh, better <laughs> regarding the overall stats of the of this car, but well, it's a car uh, totally worthless. Uh, never ever spend uh, your resources on this car because there are uh, way better options among these car rivals. Of course, I have to say that um, the rivals at this race weren't the best. Of course, there are uh, better options at this rank, but anyway, I just want to uh, tell you guys, never ever go for this car unless Game Love changes its stats. At last, but not least, we have the Nano Flow Cell Quant Fi, a really bad car which has been bad for years since its first release. I can't remember right now, but I just know, guys, this car is not worth of your resources. I mean, this car is expensive to upgrade, it's a class A car, which basically cost around the same as the uh, as a normal Bugatti Veyron which is a way better option than this car of course and uh, one of these car close competitors is the SCC Tuatara which is not also an absolute king but it still is a way better car with better handling better acceleration of course and of course a better drift radius so this car is not worth the resources it costs to upgrade to fuel pro also, I don't know if this car will ever get a, a different stats in a view or something because I don't know if Game Loss will ever change some car's stats like this one. All the cars on this list were really, really bad. And of course, there are a, a lot of more bar, bad cars. I will never recommend you guys to upgrade. But if you would like this video, let me know in comments and I will bring a second part uh, really soon in order to show you guys which car you should never go for because going for this car will be a, a total error. Well, with no more to add, uh, that's all. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to claim your subscriber rewards on, this, on the pinned comment and see you really soon. Thank you so much and bye bye.